Hello everyone. So in the first part of the tutorial of creating user ID card, we had created a header component, a user input element component and generate car component. And we had written some code in generate ID card, user input element and header file. And I'm going to continue from there on. So the first thing that uh, I would like to do is pass on a prop value in the header element. So for that, first I will create a title key in the data prop and I will write it as a ID card generator. And I want to pass this in my header component. So for that, what uh, we can do is we can pass it as a prop. So in case of who, if we want to pass any prop value to child components, we write it with a colon. So the left side of the value is the name of the prop and the right hand side is the value which needs to be passed. So for example, in this case, uh, this title would be passed as a prop in the header component. Now coming to the header component, we can define an input prop uh, using props uh, object in which uh, we will have a title string and we can display the title using double brackets. So that is just the way a title element can be passed. Now the second thing that we need to do is I need to create a form element in the parent object which in from which I can pass form elements to the child class. So if you remember the design, so we had full name, roll number, class, address, and college name. So what I want to do is I want to keep the values in the form elements in the parent element so that this name value can be reused here as well as here. So that when user types his name here, it needs to get reflected in the card element. So for that, the first thing that we need to do is we uh, define a form data JSON object. So JSON object is a collection of key value pairs if you haven't heard of it before. And within that, we have added a full name property which will be a form element or which will be the value of full name text input. Next, I searched on Stack Overflow for a while and I found that in order to update any such form data element, what we need to do is we need to define a method. Let's say in this case, uh, it's a change form data. And in that I can update the form value. So I will get back to this code later. So for time being, just keep in mind that I have a logged key object here. Now the next thing that came from Google syntax was these two variables. Again, these are copy pasted from Stack Overflow. I haven't explored the uh, prop values or the uh, prop elements in depth. Now what I have done is I have written a prop value called form data in which I have passed this JSON object of form data to my user inputs element. And I also passed the method for change form data, which is this one. And I'm using an address symbol, which is I guess the official whose index for passing methods and the change from data value or the function is passed as a parameter. Now, the next thing that we have to do is I have defined a prop called form data in my user input element. Then I define a method called change from data. So what this change from data method does is it emits or passes the value of updated form data, which we will assign in the input back to the parent uh, change form data method. I will get back to this in some time. And the last thing that we need to do is we need to define input value. So the value of the input will be form data or full name. So as if we can see that we pass the form data object and from that form data object, the value of the input will be the full name variable. Now, another thing that we need to do is we need to define an address input. So this was old syntax. Uh, updated one is vmodel attribute, but uh, I have used the older syntax since I wanted these changes to be reflected in the parent component. 
and hopefully in my other days of code i would eventually learn to do this using v model attribute we will see i will explore about it and get back to you sorry for the background noise i'm at home and coding like this so yeah i don't know it's strange to happen coming back to the code so the address input is a method which will update our form or the input text value and pass it to my parent element so the change form data here will call this change form data method and in that i am passing full name as the event dot target dot value so whenever user will edit the input element the target value will be passed into the full name we will cover this in detail for now this is the code syntax now uh, let's just go through the code syntax first and then we will move forward towards actually understanding this thing so i guess that gets uh, done in the user input elements next uh, i need to pass this full name value in my generate card component so what i will do is i will write a full name top value and within that i will pass a form data dot full name so this will be the value which will be passed as a prop variable to generate card component and last but not the least generate card component will have a prop value called full name and we will display the full name in the generate card component now if whatever i talk for the last 10 minutes did not make any sense at all it's completely okay and let me just show you how this all is working so that we slowly try to understand what we are trying to do here so let me just switch the tab a bit okay so this is my user id generator uh, okay let's clear the console and refresh it once and okay so what we are trying to do is let's say a user writes his full name in this input attribute now the sequence of events that are going around here is first the input will get passed to my update form data method which is or the change form data method here so my input element will trigger the change value or this object or pass this object to my change form data method forget about the parent component just focus on this child component so what we are trying to do is we are taking the value from input here and we are passing it to change form data method and the way i am passing it is that i am assigning a full name key and i am assigning the value so the reason for doing this is uh, i can update multiple form elements in a single method instead of writing individual methods so the drawback of that would have been let's say i had to update full name then the other elements for example roll number and stuff so if i had written individual methods for each of the form elements this syntax might have gone haywire so what i did was i slightly complicated or abstracted the method and i wrote a change form data method which takes uh, input as an object so in this case uh, full name with the whatever value this input passes is passed to the change form data method now if you see the console.log here we have a log from user input elements full name value in which we have a typed element so for example if i type b the user input element gets a json object value called full name with the form element value okay now what i did is i used the this dot emit method so this is uh, one of the ways in which i can trigger a change in parent elements method from child element so that is how this dot and emit method works so what i did was in the this dot emit method i can pass the syntax of the uh, method which i need to call and the value which i want to pass so i am cause calling the change from data method from the parent component which is this one and the value i am passing is the same object which we logged here which is full name and my input value now this value went from the child component back to the parent component okay and the this dot emit 
triggered the change from data method here with the key object. Now this is my parent value. So just for clarifying things, so I'm writing parent element value here with my key object and let's say for better clarification let's write child element value here so the parent element got the full name object here and the data which was passed here got assigned to the form data now if you are unaware of object dot assign what it does is it takes a json object and it updates the entries based on the object passed to it so in this case the full name key value pair gets merged with the form existing form data element so if we go back to the code and refresh it once so from child element this object got passed into my parent element and got updated now once the full name value here in the parent form data dot full name got updated that same form data dot full name got passed to my generate card component and from that in generate card component it gets reflected here so whenever i type let's say whatever text here it gets shown in the generate id card component now there might be better ways to do this but this is what i have found from stack overflow so in the coming section hopefully i will try to write a better code so that is what i have done till now now the next thing i need to do is i want to update multiple form values so what uh, we can do is there are two ways so first is i can either write multiple input elements with multiple values and stuff which i don't want to do because if you see in the design i have five elements which will which will need to get repeated and all are input elements so what i want to try is i will go for a for loop and i will iterate over five elements of an array and render five input elements in that way so that is the thing i am going to cover in the next part of this video let's see 